Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So a couple of days back, I posted this intro animation on my Instagram and YouTube, and from that day, I have got so many DMs and comments asking how I created this particular box animation in 3D. Well, your request has been accepted, and today I'm going to show you how I created this 3D box animation with the simple steps directly in After Effects. Let's get started. Open up Adobe Illustrator and create a new file. Here we will choose 1920 by 1080 p format and press create. Now create a new rectangle with black fin. This looks nice. For this rectangle we will keep the width 600 pixels and height to somewhere around 400 pixels. Next rename this layer to front since this is going to be the front face of our box. Now create a new layer and copy paste this front shape into the new layer. We will rename this new shape as side. For the dimensions of this new layer, I will keep it around 300 pixels for the width and same height. Next, create another new layer, copy the front shape again and paste it to the new layer. Rename this new layer as top, since this is going to be the top part of the box. Now for this one, the height will be 150 pixels and the width will be same as 600 pixels. Now that we have all the faces of our box ready to animate, I was thinking let's change the color of each of the face to help us recognize them better. This looks much better now. Now that we are done with creating our layers in Illustrator, save this Illustrator file and in the next part, we will work on the animation. Alright, let's switch to Adobe After Effects now. Alright, now create a new composition. Again, 1920 by 1080p size. 30 FPS for frame rate and for the length, we can go for somewhere around 6 seconds. Looks good. Now we will import the box illustrator file. Make sure it's set as composition and layer size. And yes, as I always say, don't forget to save your project. Alright, let's begin. Import the box composition in our new comp and open it up. Here you will find the three layers that we have already created in illustrator. Now let's turn on 3D for each of these layers and change the views from 1 to 2. One will be the top view and the other one will be active camera or front view. Next we will arrange the layers of the box to add some 3D depth to it. We will start with selecting the side layer but make sure before you begin the snapping option is turned on. This will help us arrange the layers by snapping it to the edges without leaving any pixels. Once it's snapped, all you have to do is snap the anchor point to the left hand side I'm using motion tools layout for it, but you can do it manually as well. And now I will rotate the layer in Y direction, minus 90 degree. Now make a copy of this layer. The previous one, we will rename it as the right hand side, since it's the right side of the box. And the new copy will become the left hand side, since it's going to be the left hand side of the box. Move the layer to the left hand side and make sure it snaps to the edges. As you can see from the top angle, it perfectly aligns. Next, select the front layer and make a copy of it. We will rename it as back. Now move it along the Z axis to form the back side of the box, making sure it perfectly aligns. Oh, here it aligned with the bottom edge, but no problem since we have both the views opened up. We can definitely go to the front view and center it. Now it looks perfect. Now select the top layer since this is going to be the lid of the box and move it upward. Make sure you snap it with the edges of the front layer and now move the anchor point to the bottom. And we will rotate it along the X direction in minus 90 degree. Now rename this as top01 and make a copy of it. Shift this layer slightly backwards so it snaps to the back layer 
and then rotate it along the x direction this time it will be 90 degree make another copy of the front layer and let's create the bottom of the box as well for this i will adjust the anchor point to the bottom and then rotate it along the x direction now to match the thickness of the box i will also scale it down in the y direction only now let's quickly add a new camera 35 mm looks best to see how our box looks like now as you can see it looks perfect now create a new null object let's rename it as box control and turn on 3d for it now rotate the null object in the x direction as minus 90 degree keeping the arrow upward now select all the layers of the box and move it forward from the top view keep in mind that the null object has to come at the center of the box parent all the layers to the null so that the null can become the controller for this box in any direction and now our box is finally ready to animate well i know some of you guys might be thinking that akash i would have easily created these layers directly in after effects why do i need adobe illustrator for that but let me tell you why since i have created these layers or the sides of the box directly in adobe illustrator i can edit them anytime add gradients to it maybe even add some graphics to it and the best part it won't increase the number of layers in adobe after effects i don't have to work around multiple compositions for each and every wall neither do i have to face all these messy gradients of adobe after effects which again saves me a lot of time now hopping back on illustrator Here's the reference image that I'm going to use to stylize all the walls of the box. Remember this is the same illustrator file that I have imported in Adobe After Effects for the animation. So any changes that I make here will automatically get saved in Adobe After Effects as well. I will use gradients to add some colors and also add graphics to the layers of the box. Now while doing this you have to keep one thing in mind that you don't increase the number of layers here since this file has already been imported into After Effects. Now I will slightly speed up this part since you already know everything about Adobe Illustrator and how it works. Once you are done with styling all the graphics, just press Ctrl S to save this Illustrator file. And now, when we hop back onto After Effects, all the changes are already being saved here. I hope this gave you a basic understanding of how After Effects and Illustrator work together. And if you optimize it really well, it can save you a lot of time and effort. For the bottom layer as well, I have added fill effect to add color to it. Now to animate the box, I will use the box controller and especially the Z rotation in it and add keys to it. Going to the graph editor to add some slow out at the end. Yeah, this looks good. Now I want to make this extra smooth and if you guys follow me on my Instagram, I have actually uploaded a video a couple of weeks back where I showed how adding an extra key at the end can actually do the trick. So make sure you watch it if you haven't yet. So here I am adding an extra key just a few frames before the animation ends and the last key has been extended slightly. Now coming to the value graph, 
I will adjust the graph just like this so that it slows out in the end but takes a little longer. You can see the huge difference here. Looks perfect. Slightly adjusting the keys. Now I quickly added some keyframes to animate the top part of the box as well. Let me just solo it out so you can view it better. As you can see I have placed 4 keys along the X axis to rotate and open up the lid and slightly added a bounce to it. Here is the final output with the box. Now I want to add some depth in the front lid. And to do that, I need to create a shadow. So for that, I will select the front lid and make a copy of it. Drag the copy to the bottom. And since it's a shadow, there should be a slight perspective to it. And for that, I will select all the keys carefully and increase the rotation value on all of them together. Just keep in mind, you have to select all the keyframes together. Now to show you what it did, let me add a fill effect to this layer. Darken it further. And as you can see, there is an offset animation to it. Since it's a shadow, I will slightly scale it along one axis only. Next, change the mode of this layer into multiply and slightly reduce the opacity. This looks much more realistic. But since it's a shadow of the lid, it can only fall on the front of the box. And so, for that, I will track mat this layer with the front layer. And also turn on the eyes of the layer. And now it's perfectly aligning with the animation. And also the shadow is just falling on the front of the box. So far 90% of the animation is already completed here. But as a motion designer, I always like to add some exaggeration or appeal to my animations. Now here the size of the composition is 1920 by 1080p. But as I can see so far, most of the composition is transparent pixels only. So we will reduce the size of the composition by using the region of interest button. And firstly select the part of the composition which covers the complete box. Keeping in mind that my box doesn't get cut anywhere. This looks good. And now I will go to composition and select crop com to region of interest. Now to shift the box slightly upward, I will use the null control. Now coming back to my main composition, here I actually added the CC bend it effect to slightly animate and add more appeal in the box. For this I added keyframes in the bend value, animating it from left to right and then adding a small decay by the time the animation gets completed. You can now sit back and enjoy the complete process. It's quite easy to do as all I did was bend it from left to the right while the box was being animated. And see how cool it looks now. The next part is more about controlling the smooth flow of the animation by adjusting the graph editor values. See how cool the whole animation looks now by adding much more dynamics to it.
Well folks, this brings us to the end of this tutorial video. I hope you learned something new from this. And if it's a yes, make sure you press that subscribe button and do share it with your designer friends as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and see you in the next video.